I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later. Looks like the place. Never did anything to you. Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Yeah, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen, what you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Marcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, How? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was... 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. I spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy, Ellis, and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. Oh, hey there, pal, how are you? I'm done with Frank Pagani. Poor bastard's not gonna be running anything through Tickfall Harbor again. It's our territory now. You the boss for a reason. You got two ways to go here. And while I would prefer you lean towards us, I not presume to know what you're thinking here. Call me to lock down the whole district, half of it or none of it at all. I don't give a shit. I handled the last piece of action you put on this table, and I'll handle this one too. 
I'm glad I hear we got Mark Connors cocksuckers on the run, and I'm willing to look past the fact that you didn't call me about this action, if you just give me the turf altogether. This turf's going to the Irish. You're a goddamn genius, lad. I'm gonna call this if no one else will. So are we done here? All right, that's it. We're done for now. Look, I gave you some names and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The night he... Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so he could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. Like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer. A leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself. So he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats. So his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. <laughs> <laughs> 